Okay, so welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So right now, I'm going to do a what's for dinner, guys. What I'm making is pork roast, but I was going to do it on the barbecue, which I originally told you guys earlier, um, but I'm not. We're, we're a little bit low on gas. We don't have an extra one right now. So I don't want to take a chance, so I'm going to put them in the oven this time. And when I make my pork roast in the oven, guys, I'm going to show you how I make it, okay? First, I'm going to get this um, the vegetables going because I need to get the vegetables in because they're going to probably take a little bit longer. It'll probably take around the same amount of time. But I want to get the vegetables cut up and in the oven. I'm going to roast cauliflower that I bought last week on my wall. I, I just remember this was in there, buried under in the drawer, and the broccoli. So I got to get these in there. And then I'm going to make these little round potatoes. I'm going to put them in with the pork roast. Just some butter, parsley, and all that. Garlic, these are going to be delicious. Oh, and I have this butternut squash that needs to be cooked. So I'm going to get that going. I'm going to get a peeler. I'm going to tackle this, guys. I'm going to tackle it. Okay, let's see. Cut the ends off, they say. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put my phone over here to be safe in case this thing moves. It won't fall down. Okay, they said to microwave it for a minute, so that's what I did before you peel it. And then they said to cut it like that. Hmm. Mm, it smells so fally. It smells so pumpkin like. Oh, it's, it's cool. They said to peel it. Okay, so let's get it peeled. This is a, they said to use a really strong, sharp peeler. And this peeler, I told you before, is, is, it has cut me before. It's so sharp. You gotta be so careful with this peeler. So, yeah, so <clears throat> it's really gonna just be me and my husband and Jenny and my, um, and my daughter's boyfriend, because um, my daughter is going to be, she's in beauty school, and she's going to her friend's house tonight to study um, for a test that they're going to have be having this week. So she's not here. So it's just us. And But, um, so we're, we're my, my son's going to be home, but he's not eating this. He has to get up very early in the morning for work. Um, so he is not going to be, he's going to be picking up something and eating it because he needs to, he needs to get home and go to bed because he has to be up at 3 o'clock in the morning. He has to be there 5 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So it's just going to be us. But we're, we all like pork. And um, my, my, my daughter's boyfriend loves pork. So it's going to be, it'll be eaten cause, because I have two guys. But, you know, we'll have pork sandwiches. It'll be eaten. Can't leave them in the freezer any longer. They've been in there forever and it's time to get them cooked. So I told you, I've emptying everything out of my freezer. You guys see my freezer. I'm going to show you guys my freezer in a couple of days on another, um, another video. Um, it's really, 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 really good. Really empty. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of myself that I finally got to all that stuff in there and it wasn't wasted. That's so great when I do that. Love it. All right. So now it says to cut it down the middle. Mm. Yeah, this is why you microwave it, guys. See? Just like when I do the spaghetti squash, you microwave it a little bit because you need to um, you need to soften it a little bit because these are real vegetables are very very you know they're very tough to to um, peat, you know cut, but uh, microwaving it really does the really does the job. So let me run and get a little spoon so I can take out all the insides. Mmm, mmm, guys, I wish you could smell it. it smells so good. I have my, um, I have my oven, um, preheating at 400, so, all right, let's do this, let's get all these seeds out, mm. I can't stop smelling it, it's like a, it smells like pumpkin almost, but different, I can't explain it, it smells so good, get all these seeds out, I, I, I know I've made this before, but I don't, I didn't remember, you know, haven't, I didn't remember, so I went on Pinterest and I saw how to roast a, um, a butternut squash, and it's very, very simple. Just cut it up, and you peel it, and you cut it, and, um, and that's really it. You put it in the oven like you do, you know, the other vegetables. 
So it's a, it'll be very, it's very simple. Very, very simple. And like I said, this was in here. This has been here, I think, two holes ago. So I need to, I need to get that taken care of because I don't want it to go to waste, guys. <sighs> I'm tired of doing that. I told you that. I'm tired of wasting stuff. It's just, it's not good. You know, it's, you need to utilize everything you buy. And like, I think that's going to help me so much better now too because I'm really starting to like meal prep and meal, I mean, not meal prep, meal plan, make the meal plans, which I think is good because, you know, when, when you go to the food store and you don't have like a really set plan, you just pick up, like you said, oh, I'll pick up chicken, I'll pick up beef, I'll pick up this, but you don't really have a plan of what you're going to do with it. I like to, I like to write it down. And I know like when I go into the food store, okay, I have to get chicken for this recipe. I have to get pork for this recipe. I have to get tomatoes for this recipe. I have to get canned soup for, you know, I like that. It really makes me feel good. And it, it, it organizes my, Woo! squash overboard. It really organizes my thoughts and it gives me less anxiety, guys. I don't know about you, but it gives me so much less anxiety when I have it planned in my head. And, you know, you plan it out like I did my meal plan before I showed you guys. It doesn't have to be 100%. It doesn't have to be written in stone. You could change it if you want. There's no uh, meal plan plus. Woo! There's no meal plan police coming to get you. You know what I mean? So, do whatever you want to do, guys. Your kitchen. Your recipes. All right, so... <coughs> Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice. Slice this like this. Okay. Slice it like this. Hmm. I'm trying to think how, I think I'm gonna cut this in half. Yeah, that'll make it easier, guys. Because I'm gonna cut these in cubes anyway. So I'm cutting it long ways like this. And then what I'm going to do, guys, cut it like this, and then I'm going to cut cubes like this. See? Like these size cubes. Perfect size. So they'll roast nice and quick. Okay. Mmm. I can't, I can't, I'm sorry guys, I can't stop smelling it. I just literally cannot stop smelling it. It smells so good. Okay. Let's get this sliced up. Yummy. I'm excited to get going for Thanksgiving, guys. I gotta start preparing for Thanksgiving. Um down below if you guys are having company. I know with COVID and everything, it's so difficult. They're saying, you know, with the numbers going up, they're saying have low, have little, you know, low, little small gatherings. But Thanksgiving, it's just us anyway, so it's only five, six of us. So, so that's all it will be anyway, so it's not going to, you know, it's fine. But, um, you know, the, ho the holidays are the holidays. You know, it's so difficult. And so, um, I just hope that people can be with their families and, you know, everybody can celebrate, you know, be thankful for what we have, right guys? Because this has been a rough year for a lot of people, a lot of loss, a lot of stress, a lot of, it's not, not great things, you know, God bless all those people we lost from COVID and, um, all the essential workers and just everybody who is, um, you know, who lost their lives from this COVID. I heard today on the on the television that um, they have a very good, um, um, what is it, the, you know, the, um, the medicine for it. They have a very good, um, a good vaccine, guys, that uh, works 90%, they said. It was really... It's supposed to be really good, so I'm praying to God that 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 um, that that comes through because we need it, guys. We need it. It's it's so scary, you know. I just hope that it 
That's what it's supposed to do. I really do. I don't know about this orange stuff on here. This orange stuff on here has to come out. I am taping. Hi, everyone. It's nice yeah. to see you again. You're a little over the top. Hey, Mommy, I want to tell you something. I'm, do I'm, I'm doing something. Wait one second, okay? Okay. Is that cantaloupe? No. I'll be back in a gif, guys. All right, guys. Jenny? Sorry about that. Jenny comes in like a barrel of you know what to tell me what she wants to tell me. She has no um, no filter. You know what I mean? So I wasn't sure what she was going to say, but she was telling me about her, her friend that's, I don't know, just always drama, guys. Always drama. So I cut up all the squash. That's there like that. Now what I'm going to do is cut up the cauliflower. And the broccoli is already cut up, which is great. I love buying these bags of broccoli and cauliflower. I should have just bought the broccoli. Cauliflower too, but I got this at Walmart, and I think I got this at Aldi. Well, maybe it's Walmart, so I forget where I got it. But, um, yeah, I like to get them in the bag, too, because they're quick, and you don't have to sit here and cut them up. Pain in the booty to cut them up, but what are you going to do? Right? Now, you got to cut this thing off here. Get all these little greenery things off. Cut this core out. I'm going to cut it in half. And then kind of just like cut the core out like this. See? I'm going to cut it right out down the middle. Get all the core out. I don't have, um, yeah, I'm going to put it all the garbage in here because why would I bring a garbage bowl over? I thought I was supposed to, but you know how that goes, guys. Mm. Do that. Does anybody like raw cauliflower? I love raw cauliflower. I will literally eat cauliflower raw. Right. <laughs> All right. We cut it in like four rex guys. You know, cut it down back and forth. Cut the little stem off. Um, another little core. Color oh, sounds so good. So, so good. <laughs> and, um, I buy frozen cauliflower, but I really have to say, I like the raw much better, the fresh much better. I just think it's so much better. So I'm just cutting around, I'm cutting the florets off of the, the core, cutting the core out of it. And then I'm just cutting the florets up so they're fairly medium to small because we don't want Big chunks, we want to be like bite-sized pieces. Okay, so the cauliflower is done. And I'm gonna push this over. Put over here. I'm gonna get a pan. Give me one second, guys. All right, guys, so I got my tray. I'm gonna put, here's my tray. And what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna spray my, my tray with generously with spray because um, I just don't like it to stick. And then I'm gonna put some olive oil on, on them, okay? I'm gonna put my cauliflower in here. Now I gotta fix the, put the broccoli on here too, so I'm gonna, I'll be able to, this is a nice big pan. No, I have to put, um, I have to get the vegetables in first. I gotta stuff the pork roast yet, Miss. This one over here, the husband comes in. Starving. Have a snack. Yeah. Have a Reese's Pieces or something. Okay, I got the cauliflower. Now I'm gonna put the black body. Nothing like roasted fresh vegetables, guys. That is so good. 
Wow, these broccoli are huge. Oh, that's not. I can't have these heavy, these big broccoli. See, look at these. I got to cut the florets off because that's just too big. Way too big. I'm so glad I didn't let this go bad. I thought about it before when I was sitting here and I was talking about the um, the squash. I'm like, oh my god, I, I I'm talking about the squash. Me when I got broccoli and cauliflower in the drawer that I need to bury and I need to get taken care of. So I'm so glad I remembered. So I'm glad about that. Let's get this broccoli cut up, guys. Roasted veggies. Um, the 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 um the squash I might put in the in my George Foreman because I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit them fit it in the oven with my other stuff with this stuff. They cut this one again. It's way too big. All right, guys. Okay. All right. Let's put these in the garbage okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to put olive oil like this i like a lot guys generous amount you gotta have olive oil okay put however you much you want to do guys let me get my seasonings you know salt and pepper onion powder garlic powder Watch, buddy. I'm also going to put some fresh garlic in it, too, guys. Okay. Garlic powder. Yummy. Onion powder. Yummy. Salt and pepper. This coming out. Oh, this Scotty thing. I just cleaned this today. Salt, salt, and salt. You need to season up your food, guys. Don't be afraid to season it up, okay? And, oh, I didn't bring the pepper over. I want to salt and not the pepper. Bro, bro, come in here. Birdie, come in here. Birdie's in the back room. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, pepper. Yeah, I'm gonna mix them up. I'm gonna mix everything up. Oh, I gotta get the garlic. I got the garlic. Let me go get the garlic. Get the garlic. Where's the squeeze garlic, guys? Let me get that squeeze garlic that I said I was gonna I was gonna use. Here's that squeeze garlic. Top off this. See, you see what I'm talking about? Is how like when I'm cooking, the before when I go down and I showed you my video of how my stuff gets messed up and then if I don't wipe it down, um, not good. Get this open. All right, guys, I got it open. I'm just gonna squirt a little bit of this garlic in here. It's gonna have to be mixed all in. This is minced, okay? My hands are clean now, guys, okay? My hands are very clean. I washed them, so don't worry about it. It's clean hands. Mix up all that garlic. Mm, guys, I wish you could smell it. it. Smells so good. Get this all mixed up. This is gonna be so delicious. My oven's on 400, preheating to 400. I'm gonna put the pork roast in at 400. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of more olive oil, guys. I don't want it to be dry. The olive oil will keep it nice and moist. <coughs> I'll use the rest of that. Mmm, hand smells so good, I love that. All right, I'm gonna get this in the oven. Let me wash my hands quick, guys. Yeah. Get that in the oven. I'm gonna bring my pork roast over. Um, but I think, yeah, here's my pork roast. 
All right. Um, <laughs> put my paper brush over here. Yeah, I can, I, I can put it right on. Well, yeah, I can put it right on here. Because what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you this, okay? I'm going to... I was going to chop up garlic, but I'm not going to do that because I have... That, that garlic. Ooh. So what I'm gonna do is, watch, watch, watch. I have a bowl here, and I'm gonna put in a nice amount of garlic. Yeah, it's bad. Maybe a little bit more, because I'm gonna stuff it into the pork roast, guys. I'm gonna put in This is what's for dinner tonight, guys. Craziness. Woo! Um, I put parsley in here. Okay. Garlic. The garlic. I put a little bit of onion powder. A little bit of garlic powder. Salt and pepper. Pepper and salt. And I'm going to get a little bit of more olive oil because... Um, I need more olive oil for that. <sighs> okay. Olive oil. So see what I did, guys? I put the garlic, the, the parsley, salt and pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. I'm going to use this spoon because it's here. Mix this up. And if you feel it's not wet enough because it needs to be kind of moist, you can add more olive oil, which I'm going to do. And I'm also going to add some more parsley. Now, if I had fresh parsley, guys, I would use that. I do have some in my refrigerator, but there's not that much, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to use it because I don't have a lot. So I'm not going to do that. So I might have to add a little bit of more olive oil to this because there I put more parsley in. Okay. All right, so you just mix this up with the garlic, guys. Okay. Yummy. Mmm, so good. So, so delicious. Okay. Now, what you do, guys, let me show you. You take, I'm going to take it. You know what I'm going to do this right here? You take this. You know what, let me get my other cutting board. I'm gonna get my little quarry knife. It's a little, um, a little knife like this. Now watch how I do this, guys. Okay. I take the knife and I slit little holes. Just little holes, a little deep, pretty deep, so I can get my finger in there and push down. See, guys? You make a hole and then you push in your finger down because that allows you to stuff the garlic and the uh, onion, the parsley in there. It's so good and it goes, you push it all the way down as far as you can go and that's what you do. Then you put another one next to it, okay? And you put your, you just need a little slit and you put your finger in there and you move it around and get a nice hole in it. And then when you cut this pork roast up after it's done, Mama me, you got garlic going through it and, or, uh, and parsley. It's so good, guys. So amazing. This part here is a little fat. Trim that off. Yeah, there we go. Make it a little bit of a mess here, but you guys know I'm a messy, I'm a messy cooker. I told you that. And I'm not embarrassed to say it. I'm really not. It's okay. It's okay to be messy. I don't care. As long as my food's good. So there's another hole. And the holes don't have to be perfect. And you don't have to get a hole in everything, you know. Just make a few holes in there. Stick your fingers down in them. Okay? I'm definitely adding more olive oil to this. Because I think I went a little overboard on the parsley. 
definitely has enough garlic. I'm not made up food. Nah, I think it's enough garlic. And then what I do, guys, I just put a spoonful like this, a spoonful like that, stuff it in. Just keep stuffing it until you don't see it anymore. Just stuff it. Stuff as far as you can get it with your finger. Okay? It's very, very simple. And this is a delicious meal for the holidays, guys, or, you know, for after the holidays, for New Year's, for whatever. This is a very elegant, delicious meal. The pork roast, you use your, make sure you get a thermometer. You use your thermometer. It's done at, um, what is it? 145, I think it's done. Or 160, no, six, that's chicken. It might be 165, I have to look it up again. But um, you use your, your, use your thermometer and you're always sure that it's done. That's the whole thing. That's the best thing about the thermometer. Okay, so we're gonna put more in that hole. I'm gonna put the third hole in here. You know, and it, this is so good. It is such a delicious meal. It's a regular, it's just a regular weekend meal or it could be a holiday meal. So good, guys. You're gonna see what I do. Okay, I'm gonna put this, the rest of this in here. That's stuffed in there. Yeah. And then what I do, I'm gonna show you in the end, but. Let's get the other one over here. I have two, guys. I have two because I had two in there. So I'm gonna make the little slits in these. I'm gonna do one, two, two, and three. And I'll do one here to four. Now you just take your finger, push it down, push it down. This is still a little frozen, so it's gonna take a little bit longer in the oven. But what are you gonna do? And if, you, if your, your finger can't go through, just keep you know poking it with a knife and you'll get your finger through. So here you go. Now I'm gonna stuff these. The kids can help you with this. This is a great job for the kids to do. It's fun playing with your meat. I mean, people like to do that. Kids like to, you know, play as they cook and all of that. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So stick this in here like this. Okay, as far as you can get it. And then what I'm going to do, wait till you see what I'm going to do, guys, to flavor this. It's going to be so good. I cannot wait to eat this tonight. Some more in here. Get it in as deep as you can. Get the, the garlic mixture in as deep as you can. And, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the rigid residuals, the rest of it, <laughs> and I'm gonna rub it all over, guys. Okay, see, I rub the garlic and the and the parsley all over the roast. The olive oil and everything is all rubbed on it. So good. I'm gonna put that back in the pan. Do it to this one on this side. Do it on the other side, guys. Oh, so good. Yeah, so good. This is gonna be so yummy. And like I said, don't be afraid to get your hands in there, guys. As long as you have clean hands, that's all you have to worry about. You know what I mean? I'm going to bring this over to the sink, and I'm going to wash my hands, and then I'm going to season the rest of it. This is going to go in the garbage. Okay. Let's bring this over to the sink. Just give me one second, guys. Talk so much to tell. Get my hands red. The best part of this is my hands smell like garlic and parsley. Yum. All right. Okay. So good, guys. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more salt. Okay. Just want to make sure you season your meat too. Pepper. Garlic. The meat has to be seasoned too. Not only the inside, the outside has to be, you know, seasoned too, guys. These things are such, such nuisances. Onion. Okay. A little bit of olive oil on top. Mm. And what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna take these potatoes 
I was going to cut them, but I'm not going to cut them because they're, they're a little round potatoes. I think they'll cook very quickly. Little round potatoes. Good. You guys, I put them in here. Put them in here. Bring them over. Olive oil on the potatoes. Gotta have some olive oil on the potatoes. Okay. Season them with season the potatoes, guys. Salt. Salt. Pepper. Season everything. Onion powder. Oh, this is, yeah, this is onion. Onion powder and garlic powder, guys. All right. Olive oil on them. I know I put some on, but I want to make sure they have them. And there we go. This is going to go in the oven, guys, at 400 with the with the um, with the broccoli and cauliflower. And this should be done in about 45 minutes, I think. Alexa, set the timer for 45 minutes. So, Alexa, set the timer for 45 minutes. Alexa doesn't feel like working right now, guys. What's that about? <laughs> I'll have to figure that out. Okay, guys, what I did with the squash was I put it in the microwave for about five, six, seven minutes just to blanch it a little bit so it wouldn't take so long in the, in the George Foreman. It'll cook nice in here. Um, I'm just going to season it. Okay. Onion powder. Garlic powder. And some olive oil. Okay. Parsley. I'm excited about this book. Butternut squash. Just a little side. Yeah, so this is gonna be a good meal, guys. Parsley. Good weeknight meal. Fresh garlic. If it would just cooperate. This garlic is great, but I don't think it's gonna last me that long. Garlic overboard. <laughs> My husband's laughing at me. Where is that other gotsy salt shaker? That's still like it doesn't come out that fast. I hate that salt shaker. All right, let me get a spoon and mix this up. All right, I don't know how we're gonna fit all this on this pan, little pan here, but you know, it's gonna have to fit. I'll squeeze it on. Because I can't fit it in my oven now, and I definitely want to cook this. I want to roast this. I don't want to, um, you know, do this any other way. So a little more salt, a little more onion, and a little more parsley. And I don't have any of my thyme. I'm very upset. I didn't get my thyme this weekend. I have to put it. I put it on the list, guys. Okay. I had it on my list last week on Saturday too, but it, on Sunday, but I still didn't get it. So I don't know how I did that. Okay. All right. Now I um I already sprayed this pan. So let's see how much I can fit on here. Oh, I think I can fit it all. Let's see. Spread it out as much as we can. Jenny said to look like cantaloupe. She goes, "You cutting up cantaloupe?" I think that's it, but what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna save the rest of this, guys. I'm just gonna put it in here. Get all that yummy goodness in there. And I'm gonna put this in the George Foreman. 
Here we go. Look at this, guys. Yummy! All right. That's gonna cook. The pork roast is, in the, is gonna cook. The broccoli and cauliflower and the potatoes are in the oven. So I'm gonna get all this cleaned up and I'll be back to show you when it's all done, guys. All right, guys. Here's this one pork roast. That's all done. I'm just waiting a couple more minutes for the other one. Here's mashed potatoes I whipped up for hubby. And here's gravy. And here's the squash, guys. Oh my God, it came out this so amazing. Look at it, so good. I'm gonna get the other pork out. I'm gonna slice them up. And then I'm going to make our dishes. Be back in a jiff. All right, guys. So I was taking the roast out of the oven and I grabbed it and it got away from me and the pan fell on the floor. I was able to just about save the roast, but the potatoes are, are, um, are what? Gone. Are gone in the garbage. So <laughs> there goes that. But that's okay, we still have squash, we have gravy, we have mashed potatoes. I just made a little bit more mashed potatoes. Look at this pork, guys. You see how that garlic? You see how that garlic is in there? Look at that. So good, guys. So excited for dinner. All right, wait for our plates. All right, guys, here's our dinner. This is what's for dinner tonight. There's the broccoli and cauliflower. I forgot to show you that before. Came out amazing. So delicious. Here's my dish. I have um, the squash, some pork, broccoli, and a little bit of mashed potatoes. Here's my hubby's dish. You can't see his meat and everything because he just lo loves gravy. So that's a lot of gravy there, but he loves that. So that's all his stuff. And here's Jenny. She's got cauliflower, potatoes, and pork. So that's what's for dinner tonight, guys. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for, for your support. And I hope you guys enjoyed what was for dinner tonight. Don't forget to, um, to uh, put, a, a, put a note. Don't forget to mention in the box description below what you guys are having for dinner tonight. All right, guys. See you next time. Love yous. Bye.